Hello everyone, this is Layman Config from Green Slime Games and bringing you update one. Um, 19 hour challenge is over, it's fantastic, very pleased with how the game ended up after 19 hours. But most of the features that I want to add to the game are going to take longer than an hour to actually do. So I thought I'd just start releasing updates as and when I do something which is particularly cool. So this is Space Ore Miner and this is actually in Unity 3. Um, if you were reading the blog, my blog, you might have heard that I was having a few problems getting my project loaded into Unity 3. But, um, thankfully I sent off um, a message and wrote on the support forums that I was having a wee few issues with it. Uh, the guys at Unity asked for a copy of my project, which I sent them. They identified the bug, they'll be releasing a patch for it, and they removed the bug item from the game so I could continue developing. So very, very impressed with that. Um, I sent them a picture of my cat as thanks. So I mean, if anyone from Unity is actually listening to this, just thanks again. Um, especially thanks to Jonas, who I think was the, the guy that actually decided to send my project back. Fantastic. Okay, so what have I added to the game? Firstly, there's a big self-destruct button there. You press it, and the game's over. Nice and simple. What I wanted to do, because I'm collecting the stats on the game over screen and I'm saving them to, to a database, um, that's quite essential for how I plan the project to go. Um, so the self-destruct button is, is there to encourage people to quit the game rather than just, just leave, leave the website. Um, had some feedback on the game, which was fantastic. One of the first bits of feedback I actually got was they um, thought it was silly that the mining laser stopped penetrating um, ore. So now there we go. Zoom straight through ore, which actually makes the mining look quite cool when we actually do it. Um, another thing that several people actually mentioned was the energy in the fuel. Oh, got those the wrong way round. Just noticed that. Oops. Um, yep, so the energy in the fuel um, go down too quickly. So to correct this, what I've done is I've actually created a little shop on top of the limar, which you can land on, and it will actually allow you to buy upgrades for your 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 mole. So if we just go here, here we go. So you can buy reactors and capacitors. Oh, I need to change spelling there. Um, the reactors will increase the amount of fuel you have. Um, the capacitors will increase the, the the mining laser, so you can be blasting away for longer. So if I just buy buy the, this reactor here, cheapest reactor. There we go, you buy it, zoom, leave here. Um, and now what happens is it takes much longer. Your your burn is much slower. You can hang about for longer. I think there is probably, I need to balance this because I've, I've increased the price of the ore um, and just guessed it at numbers for how much all the equipment should be. And this, this first level upgrade is actually ridiculously efficient. So I... Really, with with this going down as slow as slowly as it is now, it's it's far too friendly for your first upgrade. So I'm going to have to change that. But I, this is this is going to be people testing, giving feedback. So if you tell me what you think, um, the the, the prices should be that would be awesome. Um, so here we go. So that's that. Those are the changes to this bit of the game. So let's just self destruct and let's have a look at the main menu. You'll notice. There's a username and password box here. What you can do now is you can actually create um, an account, um, and every game you play, it will actually tally up um, the amount of ore you've been mining and how much money you've been making. So if I just log in with this, um, and my password is. So if I log in, Zoom. You can say, oh, you can't see because I'm playing in game, but I've got all my, my games played, mining stats, blah, 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 blah. So now when I play the game, um, whenever I collect stuff, and let's just collect these three and zoom back up here, get the score, and I'll just self destruct. Zoom. Now that's all been logged. So when I log in again, the stats will be updated. Also, just for, for ease of use, if you want to create a user, um, it's nice and easy to do. Um, I'm not asking for email addresses or anything like that. It's literally you do it from this. So if I want, 
I'll create one which now everyone who views the YouTube video can actually do. So if we just call this YouTube, and the password will be password, all lowercase, create the account, account created, you are logged in. So now this is, this is the, I'm playing as the YouTube user. Um, so if I just collect these three, and zoom back up. It's not particularly user friendly environment at the moment. So if I just self destruct boom. So if or if you wanted to see your stats again, you have to re log in. Um you'll stay logged in the entire time, but the, the box this box here doesn't actually update. Um so password. If we log in. Oh, that hasn't actually logged that game. Uh, there's there's a bug where occasionally games don't get logged and it inevitably would happen um when I'm actually playing playing the game. If you notice if you're you're logging in and you notice that your stats don't get logged, it would be incredibly useful if you could just give me um an approximate time um and what time zone you are in. And um yeah, what you could mind in what your score was and whether or not you self destructed or you just, just used up all your stuff. Um because I'm trying to trace this, but it's a it's a bit of a nightmare. So that that would be some fantastic um feedback if you could give me it. So let's just try and hopefully this game will have logged. There we go. Games I played one. Um so there we go. Um this login process is something which I'm gonna be building on um and is gonna be quite essential to gameplay, but that's something which is gonna be happening much, much later on. Um, but that, there we go, that, that's about it. Um, if anyone is interested in actually getting PHP, MySQL and Unity talking together, I should be actually doing a tutorial at some point, probably next week, um, just going over the basics of it, because from reading the Unity forums, there's a lot of very skilled Unity users who are a bit, no, they, they don't know about PHP, so I'm more than happy to give back to the community by, by giving them a wee tutorial on how I do it. Um, and that's it for now. I haven't actually made uh, put this live yet. I'll probably put this live once I've changed a few more things. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoy update one.